So listen, our favorite pastime on Morning Live is on a Monday, you always look ahead to the weekend. Or look ahead to the end of summer, or technically, because uh, September is arriving on a Thursday. Great to have John uh, McPherson, who is a Scotch specialist, uh, on the show with us uh, this morning. Kind of taking us through some of some uh, some summer cocktails. And when it comes to like brown liquor, a lot of the time, John, you don't think he doesn't scream summer. Not always. No, but, but what, how, how, do we, how do we change that ideology? It's finding the right way to serve it. I mean, we're, we're trying to say goodbye to summer. We want to find a great way to enjoy some wonderful cocktails and, yeah. uh, you know, still hold on to what's left of summer. Do you, get, you come across a lot of people who are like, scotch, can't do scotch, don't like scotch. It happens a lot. I mean, some people say, listen, it's too smoky, but so many scotches are not, especially with this one here. It's approachable, it's fruity, it, it's, it's nice wood spices, it's gorgeous. You want to take us through this one? What's the, what is the blue one there? So we've got Glenfiddich 14 year old bourbon barrel reserve. So okay. what this one is, is 14 years aged in ex-bourbon oak casks before being finished in heavily charred American oak, new American oak casks. What you get is you get a little bit of vanilla, gorgeous woody spice, and these amazing summer fruits. It's just, Can it's so it perfect. Yeah, yeah, please do. Here, we'll pour you up a little, uh, a little sample here. But what this is, I mean, it's so approachable. The nose on it is gorgeous. And yeah. especially with those late summer nights, uh, we've got those cooler nights coming in around the fire. It's yeah, just so perfect. That's not, yeah, this, is, just this, so is, perfect. this is maybe not the daytime. <laughs> mm, that, smells, that smells delicious. But the one on the end might be more daytime. And okay, so, what, okay, we, so we're, what are we doing here? So that's Grant's Triplewood 12. So that's a blended Scotch whiskey, but we are making it in a highball, a, a Grant's and soda. Yeah. And so this one is three different types of casks. We've got refill bourbon cask, we've got American oak, and we've got sherry oak, which gives you these lovely sweet, spicy notes of vanilla character and some brown sugar. What the cocktail is, is that is the Grant's soda, and, or Grant's and soda. So this is just a teaspoon of honey. We've got Grant's triple wood 12 year old with one ounce of it. Lots of ice topped up with soda water and then just that orange slice to bring it all together. Do you put these recipes anywhere? Can we find these recipes? Or yeah, I mean, so if you visit the, uh, the respective websites for everyone, we've right. got cocktail suggestions yeah. for all of these different yeah. cocktails. And are you yeah. always trying to come up with different cocktails, different I'm ideas? I'm always playing. Okay, <laughs> what, about, what about over here? So this is getting out of the Scotch world yes. into, into more of the spiced rum Exactly. Okay. And so this is Sailor Jerry spiced rum so this is beautiful I mean this has got notes of toffee it's got cinnamon and of course that subtle vanilla coming through but when you think of summer you think of watermelon you think of cocktails yeah. in this so we've got the watermelon cooler made with Sailor Jerry so this is one part Sailor Jerry spiced rum four parts watermelon juice uh, again, lots of ice, some muddled mint, and then topped up with, with uh, lime seltzer. It's beautiful. It's approachable. I was going to say, I was, Laura, I'm just going to take this out of the way because I want to give this a smell because there's something about mint mm -hmm. and then, and obviously with the umbrella stick too. Well, you've right? got to have right. the umbrella. Oh, doesn't that smell delicious? It's, it's such a, I mean, especially we've got a few warm days coming up left and this is just. We have a fabulous week. We oh, do. What? Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. What are you like at a, at a, uh, at a cocktail party? Are I you have a good time. I, I was going to say, but are you the one that they're turning to to make all these cocktails? Put coming to work up, every time. Coming, coming over the ideas, but I'm assuming you love it? Yes. Okay. Oh, absolutely. But you're putting me to work right I'm now. I'm putting you Johnny to work. Boy. Okay, so what are we doing here? So we are making a Gibson's Finest Rare 12-year-old Arnold Palmer. So this is a Canadian whiskey. Okay. Most Canadian whiskeys start at three years old. This is aged for a full 12 years. And this makes an amazing summer drink, the Arnold Palmer. So yeah. what you're going to do is grab that bottle, take the cork out of it. Okay, take the cork We're out. We're going to get two ounces of Gibson's Finest Rare 12. So fill up this uh, this bad boy there and get two ounces. Okay, two ounces, so right. So pour one, dump a second right into the glass over the ice. Okay. Perfect. Okay, can I just give this a quick little... Oh, it's nice lovely. Smell. I mean, this one's got mm. that, that classic Canadian little, whiskey vibe. It's smooth, it's approachable. A little spilly there. So then okay. we've got four ounces of iced tea. You don't need all four ounces if you don't want to. Okay, so this just is, a little bit is, of that. I thought this was whiskey. This is iced tea. <laughs> this is okay. iced tea, okay. This yes. is good too. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's iced tea. So just a little bit of that. Yeah, as much as you'd like. Okay. And then again, we'll top up with the lemonade. And you've got your Gibson's Finest Arnold Palmer. We'll just add that lemon wedge into it, and you are good to go. And this is like, I actually was at a wedding on Saturday night. This was the signature drink. It was going. Everyone wanted it. Couldn't really, make enough okay. of it. So and, that in there, and then maybe and then give it a little stir, stir up. Little absolutely, stir, little stir around to mix everything in there. And you've got yourself the Gibson's finest Arnold Palmer. How do you become a Scotch specialist, John? Uh, I always still try to figure that out. A lot yeah. of bartending. Uh, I, uh, a whiskey nerd for a very long time, and right. I found out the brands were looking for someone, and they couldn't stop me from getting through the door. So have you been over to like the distilleries? Yes, and I highly recommend everyone gets over to Scotland or wherever your favorite distillery is. It's so unique to be there. Just the aroma, the vibe. It's like coming home. And then you really get to hear. The or to see kind of the backstory, how it's made, and where, the, and look at these barrels, and, and, and that's and, it. I mean, it's 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 an unforgettable experience. Okay. You have to go. Can we follow you along? Are you on the socials at all? I am on yeah. Instagram. I am the Canadian Scotchman. And Canadian Scotchman. Yeah, you can oh. follow my uh, adventures. Well, cheers <laughs> to the the final week of uh, of August, and uh, cheers. cheers, cheers to that. Happy Thanks, summer, John, John, John McPherson. Cheers. Thank you.